All right, 17 exercises, two times through, no break. We're doing 34 rounds. If you're a beginner and you wanna take a break, go ahead and take a break when you need to. Um, otherwise, push through. It's only 40 seconds, so work as hard as you can. And let's get started. We're doing T-raise push-ups first. I am gonna do a 12-pound dumbbell. I'm gonna show you them. You can do a dumbbell or you cannot do any weight at all. It's entirely up to you. Timer shut off. There we go. If you don't want to do the dumbbell, turn and raise. You want to make sure that you keep your body straight. Don't drop your hips and your waist when you turn. Sandbag swings are next. Oh, I got a kettlebell too. If you don't have a sandbag and you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you can use that. Bend your knees, sit your butt back, put your weight in your heels, swing that bag, that weight, or that kettlebell between your legs and swing it up. You don't want your arms to come up any higher than shoulder height. Jump lunges are next. If you can't do the jumps, lunge back. Okay? You don't have to do the jumps. Sandbag bent over row. Should be breathing hard. If you don't have a sandbag, you can do a dumbbell. Back is flat, chin is lifted. Pull those arms back and those hands to the chest. Right side lunge, kick front. I'm gonna do it on the mat. It's dry today, it's supposed to rain. Right, kick up. Lunge down, kick up. You can add a weight if you want to. I didn't bring one out. I have the 12, but I don't think I'd have good form with it. You'd hold the weight in the left hand, tap down, and then bring it up to the front. Now listen, if you can't kick up this high, you kick to where you feel comfortable, okay? Keep that core tight as you kick that foot up. So you're getting the thighs and you're getting the core and the shoulders. Left leg's next. I gotta set up the bench for dips.
Shoulder tap push-ups are next. On the ground, down, tap the opposite hand to the opposite shoulder. If you need to go to the knees, drop down to your knees. side twist. Have my 15 pound kettlebell. You use what feels comfortable for you. Squat, twist overhead. Squat low. Drop those elbows between the knees. Legs should be shoulder width apart. And then twist that weight up and over. Contract the abs, tighten the core. <clears throat> sandbag squat with shoulder press. If you don't have a sandbag, you can do dumbbells. Squat down. Press up, down, up and press. up with the ankles and behind the toes. Woo. Elevated push-ups. Elevate on a chair, a bench, it doesn't matter. A coffee table, the wall, Open that mouth and breathe. Woo. I think mountain climbers are next. Strict mountain climbers. Strict ones are not running with your knee coming in. Foot is out. Out to your foot, or out to your hand. bicep that shortens it. Entirely up to you if you have the sandbag. Really, you're only going to do this. I'll show you with the sandbag the next time around. Can't really turn your hands on it. Ooh. Okay. 
Plank jacks are next. And then we've got side planks. You know plank jacks, they're jumping jacks. Abs are tight, back is flat, keep that butt down. If you don't want to jump, or you can't, tap out, okay? Just keep that core tight and that back straight. But if you can jump, jump along with me. Get that heart rate up. Push it hard for the 40 seconds. We got one more time through after we finish up this first round. Side planks. You're gonna lift your leg up. We're gonna do the right side first. And then you're gonna kick it out in front of you. Okay, so it looks like this. Side plank, lift up, kick front, that's one. Up, kick front. Now listen, if you can't be on your hand, if it hurts or if it's too much, drop down to the elbow, okay? You do what you feel comfortable with. If you get part of the way through and you wanna keep going, but it's too much on your hands, drop down to your elbows. Just make sure that you contract the core, the obliques, on the right side. Don't drop, okay? Okay, I'll show you this side on the hand. I won't go down. Kick out, lift up, kick out. It is not a high kick, okay? Woo. My left side is weaker, <laughs> harder to talk on the left. You're lifting up and you should feel it in the hip and you should also be contracting that core and holding yourself straight. Don't let your body dip down. If it starts to dip and sag, you need to drop down and take a break a minute or go to your elbow. Woo. Okay, we have dips and goblet squats. We're gonna do the dips from the bench. To make it harder, you walk your feet out. Hands are lined up with your butt. Drop your elbows, or drop your butt down. Keep your elbows facing back. Don't let them flare out. If you wanna make it harder, you can add a foot up. squats are next. You don't have to hold any weight for these. Hold your weight so that it's at your chest. Legs are shoulder width apart. Feet are shoulder width apart. Squat down. Drop the butt as low as you can go. Weight is in the heels. Chest is lifted. Core is tight. Press through those heels and come up and squeeze that butt. This is the last exercise. We start from the beginning and we go through it one more time. If you look towards the ceiling with your eyes, it'll keep your chin up and you won't lean forward and bend at the waist, okay? T-raise push-up. Push-up. Rotate. Keep that core tight. When you rotate, don't drop those hips. It is about form not speed. You want to do the exercises correctly. Okay, 
quantity, not quality. Or <laughs> quality, not quantity. Uh, sandbag swings. If you don't have a sandbag and you have a kettlebell, if you don't have a heavy enough kettlebell, you can do dumbbell swings. You'd hold them at the sides and come down. It's like a skier. Think of a snow skier, okay? You could clasp the dumbbells together, but I wouldn't want you to throw it across the room. So if your dumbbells aren't heavy enough, you could put one in each hand. Remember, jump lunges are next. You don't have to jump. You don't have to put your hands behind your head. It just makes you hold your stomach tight and keeps your chest lifted. You can put them at the sides. It's easier, a little bit easier. And if the jump is too much, you can lunge. You can take the hop out. You do what feels comfortable to you. Work at your level. Woo! They get the heart rate up. Bend over row. I'll do it with the dumbbells. If you don't have a sandbag, you'd bend over, dump hands face out. Squeeze and pull in. Back is flat, chest is lifted, chin is up. Pull up. Now, you can turn them and pull in or keep them straight and pull up. Squeeze the middle of your back together as you bring those elbows up. Squeeze back. Right side lunge, kick front. Going to the right. Keep the chin up, abs are tight. Lunge over, tap. Down to the ground, tap. Feel it in that inner thigh of the left leg. Quadricep of the right. Kick up and get that core. Contract the abs as you come up. Left side's next. Kick up. Now, if you can't go all the way down, you go to where you feel comfortable. As you get better, your range of motion will get further down. Don't compromise the back, the legs, the knees. Step out far enough that your knee is lined up with your ankle and it's not past your toe. You don't want to hyperextend that knee. Look up, don't look down. When you look down, you lead with your chest and you lean down. Shoulder tap push-ups are next. If you need to, go to your legs or go to your knees. You can even put your hands on the bench or up. Make sure your body is rigid. You're like a plank, you're a board, a straight board. You want to keep that back flat, that core tight, that chin up. I just did chest and triceps yesterday at the gym. 
I can feel it today. Ooh. Okay, squat with an alternating side twist. You can hold a dumbbell and twist, or you can hold the kettlebell, or no weight at all. You do what feels comfortable for you. Up and squeeze and twist. Don't forget about that butt. Press through those heels as you come up. Squeeze that butt like you have a pencil and you're holding it in between your cheeks. Squat with shoulder press. If you don't have a sandbag and you have dumbbells, it would look like this. Down, press up. Down, press up. Keep that chin lifted. Keep the eyes looking towards the ceiling. It will keep your chest up and your back straight and your abs tight. If you look down, you lean down. So look up. You might not be able to go as far. You'll get there. Put that weight in the heels as you go down, okay? Sit back. Try and lift those toes up off the floor so that you focus the weight in the heels. Elevated push-ups. Thank <laughs> you. 
out front. Okay. Not a high lift, remember. Up, kick out. Up, out. Lift up, kick out. Up, kick out. Lift. Keep that core tight. Don't drop those hips. Quant quality, not quantity. Make them work. Squeeze those muscles. Ooh. Up. Out. Up. You will have one side that's stronger than the other. Everybody does. You gotta work a little bit harder on that side. You'll get it. You'll see my left arm start to shake. It's my weaker side. Just breathe. It helps. You don't have to kick out as far as I do. If you can't, you'll get there. Dips. You don't have to lift that leg up if you don't want to. Just remember to keep those hands back, lined up with the butt. Drop the butt to the ground. Keep your elbows straight. Don't flare your arms. Drop straight down. Bend those elbows. So next, if you don't have a kettlebell and you have a dumbbell, hold that dumbbell at your chest. Keep those feet shoulder width apart. Drop down so that your elbows come between the knees. Weight goes into the heels. Toes are lifted. Chest is lifted. Look towards the ceiling. Core is tight. Squeeze that butt as you come up. When you press through the heels, to come back up. You don't have to go this far if you can't. You go down to where you feel comfortable, okay? Woo! Good workout. That was your quickie workout for the day. That way, Tonight is New Year's Eve. There's no excuse. You can get that done in less than 20 minutes and you will have your workout in. Be safe tonight. Have a happy new year and I'll catch up with you at the end of the week, I'm sure. Bye.